So, morning everyone, once again. So, we are discussing about the SAP basis administration. Here, the first topic we discussed about the installation part. So, SAP installation using the SWPM tool, we have to do the installation. What are the installation softwares we required, hardware requirements we required. So, these are the things we discussed, right? So these are the things we discussed, SAP basis administration. These are the things we discussed. So coming to, coming to uh, like uh, then during the installation, installation means building a brand new house, which means, so building a brand new house. So which means after the installation, after the home, there is a family members will stay. Same as like SAP also, we have the seven work process will stay in the, so in the SAP here, right? So these are the DV, EB, MGS. So dialogue, update, NQ, background, message server, gateway, spool. These are the seven process will stay. And they are the two instances will be created during the SAP installation. One is the pass and ASCS equals to SAP application. One SAP SID means, one SAP SID means here. So ASCS instance and the primary application server instance, we will get it out here. And also, you will get the two clients, you will get it out, 000 and 001 default clients you will get. And also, two SAP users you will get. One is the SAP star and DDIC initial login purpose. And also, then two users you will get from SAP level, OS level, OS level, SAP users, and also to OS users and database users also you will get from SAP here, right? So SAP star, DDIC, common passwords, everything you will get 222, okay? So to log into the SAP system here, we need to have the SAP logon pad. SAP, the logon pad is required in your logon screens here, right? In your laptops or desktops or in your user ID, SAP logon pad is required to log into the SAP. So to log into the SAP application server, in your computer, in your computer, so just to go to MSTSE in the run prompt, just execute the MSTSE or just to type the, you will get the remote desktop connection, right? Otherwise, in the search bar, just you can type the remote desktop connection, then you will get the remote desktop connection here. So basically, you should open the remote desktop connection here, right? Then you can type the, our IP address here, this is the, our IP address, server IP, server host name, our IP address, we have to fill the details here. Then, once you fill the all the details here, you need to enter the your user ID. So who don't have the user ID? I think uh, most of the people got the user ID. Who don't have, you can update me. Okay? Just you can log into the our SAP system here, right? By providing the password, just you can log in here, log into the SAP application server here, right? So you will be able to open, launch the SAP screen here. You will be able to launch the SAP screen here, right? You got the SAP screen here. So not the SAP screen, you will be able to log into the remote server. Remote server, you logged into the remote server here. Just click on the SAP logon pad here. SAP logon pad. In the SAP logon pad, you will see the, you will see the all the details here. In the SAP logon pad, you will see the, your SAP systems are configured, right? So if you want to use it, you can use it. Actually, you should use existing one only, right? If you want to configure any new system here, just to click on the create. So this login pad is available in the every one, your, your desktop here. So this is the one you have to use to log into the SAP system here, right? So just to open the SAP login pad here, click on the create button, then click on the create and connection. Then here, you can just add the, your system detail description. Suppose like SAP Netweaver development. What is the SID? SID means the, the SAP system which you installed during the installation time. What is the instance number? Okay. What is the instance number you given? What is the application server name? Where you have done the SAP installation? So that host details you have to fill it. Then just click on the login button here. You will able to launch the... SAP screen, SAP screen, you got it here. So by default, we got the two clients, double zero, triple zero, double zero one, and triple zero. Then, so then you can use the DDIC or so SAP star initially to log into the SAP system. Then 
you can able to log you can able to log into the sap screen here this is the sap application server in the sap application server you have to execute the transaction code sap the concept is different here entirely sap is the transaction codes t codes based concept here sap is the t codes based concept here in the t codes based concept you need to enter the transaction codes you need to enter the transaction codes here so what is this transaction code is transaction code is shortcut to the business application t code or transaction code what is this means mean shortcut to the your business page shortcut to the business page here if you enter the one transaction code the business page will be opened here the respective the business page will be opened here so you need to enter the transaction code suppose like the first transaction code sick to check the consistency check sm28 or sick we checked also uh, we uh, then once you enter into the transaction codes then remaining topics will come so remaining work process related administration topics will come automatically by one by one one by one daily right so as part of this one so we know how to configure the systems into the sap logon pad right then we know how to log into the sap systems as well so we using the user id and the password once you log in then you here this is called the ok code box normally we will call it as the ok google something like that right here also this is called the ok code box ok code box in this box we have to enter the transaction code here in this box we have to enter the transaction code here in this transaction codes if you enter the one transaction code respect to business page will be opened same screen is available for all the users as well this is the security security transaction codes functional functional sales sales material material so basis basis above above transaction codes they will use it to work on the system all most all the people will work on the one system they will work on the system and we can check it out here so as part of this work process administration concept we discussed about the the work process like the dialog dialog is responsible for to take the user request and process the user request and dispatcher to take the request hand over to the and available dialog work process the the dialog related transaction codes are sm50 sm66 local work process like sm50 is like a we can check the sm50 uh, work process administration local work process information overview so here we can check the how many work process we have in that how many are free how many are active how many are so here you can see the status here running status which means someone is running something here right here out of 10 8 are free means two are already occupied one work process with me with sap star ddic one more work process with triple zero sap sys something is internally something is running in the system so that is active now that is gone and nine are free which means so here dialog work process is responsible to take the user request here right dialogs are running here right it is running my user request is running why because still i am in the system i am working so here the status of the work process waiting running sleep stop error so and the preview mode hold preview mode are like this here right see here updates are six updates are there here this many are not required right why is six updates here then update is only one is enough or two or enough not many right so these are the update related so dialogue related sm50 sm66 so 66 is for the global work process overview which means this work process related to the all the work process all the sap instance related work process here right all the work process related so all the instances in your system we have the 10 application servers 10 applications sap applications are there the tens related information everything you can see in the one screen that is called the so sm66 50 is the local 66 is the global global means all all so basically these two transaction codes are to check the work process over you the status if the dialogue work process are not free what exactly happens anybody can jump in so if the work process are not free not free means all are running status not in the waiting status so what exactly happens system will crash no oh, it won't allow new requests. Uh, right 
so yeah definitely after some time system that is also correct but main thing is the users new users will not able to log in that is the main thing users will not able to log into the sap system because of there is no free dialog dialog is the responsible to take the user request dialogs are not there then how the uh, other work process will take the request so system will crash so, yeah we will crash it after some time definitely so that is the one then we discussed about the update update sm13 sm14 we discussed right update work process we discussed that is the update update so once the user logged into the system he logged into the ircTC.com the back end dialog work process is taken his request then he booked the transaction so the transactions are it generated the transaction the records are generated then that transaction the committed records will be updated into the table level by update work process we can check in the sm13 whether it's failed or not we can check in the sm13 are there any failed update records in the system or not we can go to the sm13 so we can check the status here we can just go to the here we can check the status yes they are the failed update records are there here so we need to check what happened here there is a error there is a right document was right document is error here so we can try to repeat that update here so it is started so we can see it here whether it is failed even though it's failed why because the transaction is already updated i guess that is the reason it is failing it is failing here so like that so we have to try to reprocess if something is failed unable to reprocess means the functional team will check that error they will confirm us to delete that update then we can delete that update so that will be progressed here that will be processed here so in this way we can take the actions here we can take the actions in the systems here okay so that is the update sm14 sm13 we can see it here so this is what we discussed in the this is what we discussed in the up to here we discussed in the our last class right now today we'll discuss about the sub more transactions so dve e means nq he means so nq work process here nq means so locking mechanism mechanism locking mechanism here so sm12 is the transaction code to check the message server locking mechanisms here right sm12 here sm12 is the so transaction code locking mechanism so locking mechanism means so locking mechanism means here so what exactly happens in the sm12 nq work process which is available in the ascs instance there is a one table here here you have the one person here you have the one more person here you have the one more person there is a one table here but the both the side both the persons are trying to edit the same table here system will not allow system will not system means nq process will not allow here so first in first out whoever first to uh, open the table for editing it is allowed for them then the the table is locked under is user user one user two user three they are the three users so for different different regions different different countries they are trying to one sap system they are logged in they are trying to edit something in this table then whoever first click on the edit button so the table is applicable for this user only then remaining two persons has to only display mode here only they can view the data they cannot insert the records right suppose example simple example in the redbus.com or maybe your favorite site you are trying to book the movie ticket or book the bus ticket here one window seat you selected then you you checked that, that window seat is there then you click that button immediately one more person already clicked and already locked it and he already done that transaction code he already done that ticket booking then immediately that seat is occupied but if you you also if the, we don't have the nq mechanism here if you don't have the nq work process here what exactly happens if you don't have nq you are booking the same ticket he is also booking the same ticket so same same movie ticket you are booking and the same uh, window seat only corner seat only you are also trying so but if the system is allowing if the nq work process is allowing you both guys three guys to book the same ticket then you three guys has to fight in the in the movie hall right instead of watching the movie you you three guys has to fight right that it will happen that's why system it won't allow because of 
ఆల్రెడీ దట్ టికెట్ ఈస్ బీయింగ్ ప్రాసెసింగ్ ఆర్ బీయింగ్ ప్రాసెస్డ్ ఆల్రెడీ బుక్డ్ సంథింగ్ లైక్ దట్ యూ బుక్డ్ వెన్ యూ సీ దట్ టికెట్ జస్ట్ సి వెన్ యూ సీ రీఫ్రెష్ ఇట్ ద టికెట్ ఈస్ దే దెన్ ఆఫ్టర్ దట్ వెన్ యూఆర్ ట్రైంగ్ టు క్లిక్ ఆన్ ద సెలెక్ట్ విండో దెన్ ద టికెట్ ఆల్రెడీ ద ఫస్ట్ ఇన్ ఫస్ట్ అవుట్ హూ ఎవర్ ద హూ ఎవర్ సెలెక్టెడ్ అండ్ దన్ ద ట్రాన్సాక్షన్ ద టికెట్ ఈస్ ద అప్లికేబుల్ ఫర్ దట్ యూజర్ ఓన్లీ రైట్ దట్ ఈస్ వాట్ ద రియల్ టైమ్ సినారియోస్ విల్ హ్యాపన్ రైట్ సేమ్ యాజ్ ఇన్ ద బ్యాక్ అండ్ హూ విల్ టేక్ కేర్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ ఎన్ క్యూ లాకింగ్ మెకానిజమ్స్ అండ్ ఎవ్రీథింగ్ మీన్స్ ఏ ద ఎన్ క్యూ వర్క్ ప్రాసెస్ విల్ డూ దిస్ వన్ ఇన్ ద ఎస్ఏపి సైడ్ ఇఫ్ ద మూవీ సైడ్ ద మూవీ రూల్ సంథింగ్ లైక్ ఇన్ ద దే ఆర్ యూజింగ్ ఫర్ ఎస్ఏపి ఫర్ దర్ టికెట్ బుకింగ్ పర్పస్ సో హియర్ దే ఆర్ ఇట్స్ ఎన్ క్యూ వర్క్ ప్రాసెస్ విల్ హెల్ప్ టు లాక్ ద టికెట్ టు ఓన్లీ ఫర్ దట్ యూజర్ హూ ఎవర్ బట్ ఆఫ్టర్ దట్ ద యూజర్ ట్రాన్సాక్షన్ ఈస్ క్యాన్సిల్ ఈస్ నాట్ బుక్ ద టికెట్ మీన్స్ the ticket will be free then another person can go and say, refresh it the lucky guy then he can book the ticket right so that will happen again so that will happen so first in first out so that is the will happen by the dispatcher whoever first log in and click that button the ticket is applicable until he log out until he cancel the ticket will stuck with his user only for us it's showing that it's already locked or already booked status he will get so but the person is still booking once he once he is not done it he cancelled the ticket then the ticket will be free then whoever just next next time whoever the next minute is seeing the ticket he can able to book the tickets same as like what exactly happening here whenever you click the seat one lock will be applicable for your user so that lock will not allow any other users to do that work right suppose example if you see here sap said i can show you something here so i am going to add something here i am going to create some group here suppose like india group i am going to create it here let me take the one more new gi window here so one more gi window here so i am going to just add the i am i am also trying to go and edit it here but it will not allow why because it will show like so okay the table is already locked by the dds user you have only display user okay why because in other side other window i am trying to do this one but other person already locked the transaction here right so until he completes the another person he cannot do anything here just you got the information saying that it's already locked by that user then you cannot display that will happen here right so here we can see the lock entries if you go to the sm12 here we can see the just to remove the all the entries here click on the list here you can see the lock entry so here there is a 001 client dds user at 2049 2049 one minute back exactly there is a lock happened for the table this is a lock argument there is a locks are happened in the table here locks are happened which means so uh, system locked this transaction until he commits so he done it he done it he closed everything he went back then when you refresh the lock here the locks are gone now which means so the locks are gone now here which means until he completes the transaction the locks are exist once he is done something they are cancelled something then he went to the other 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 way other uh, other work then your transactions are free now there is no lock entry so the person who got this id then he immediately he can go to the next time smlg then you can try to click on the edit button then you can add some entries in the table level right same as like so material month material masters so whatever you want you can you can approve the purchase orders vendor creation multiple things we can insert it here so that's what it will happen in the systems here suppose one more suppose like in the bd 54 i am going to create something here dds is not allowed okay that's fine so then other person also cannot be allowed the entries in the table so locking mechanism so as part of the our day to day monitoring what we have to do every day in the shift when we log in we have to go to the sm50 sm66 then uh, sm13 sm14 and the next one is the sm12 transaction code you have to enter it and we need to see are there any lock entries which are older than 24 hours if the older than 24 hours here then we can take the approval and we can cancel that one we can take the approval we can cancel it sometimes if you see here so if you see click on the create button here 
then sometimes you see the lock entries zero now refresh it two more entries come here so sometimes the lock entry is more than 24 hours what will happen sometimes user will open the open the screen for editing edit something editing or updating is opened then he, in between he got the phone then he went to the outside and he was on leave on saturday sunday leave and monday it comes monday also he was he, so he was on leave then so it is impacting to the other users why because other users cannot do anything his work he has priorities other users they cannot do that one it's saying that so already the process is using by the other person you cannot do anything in the system then so immediately you will escalate to the basis team basis team will check oh this lock is happened in the months uh, like days back so we can what we can do this lock is happened days back here so what we can do here we can take the approval from managers then select it select it take the approval select it and click on the delete the lock entry the locks will be deleted here the lock entries will be deleted from the systems the lock entries will be deleted from the system then other persons we can they can do the transactions they can do editing this kind of behavior will be done by the the update so locking mechanism right sm12 locking mechanism here right that is the one so the next one so some of the general transaction codes apart from that this uh, so here work process related transactions will come and also some other general transaction cards codes also will come so one more <coughs> transaction code is sm04 check the check the uh, local logged on users list so we want to check the how many users are logged into the one application server then if you go to the sm04 here you will see the how many users are logged in here only two users are logged in here right double zero one double zero one basis user id and ddic what they are doing sm04 sm64 when they have connected this time what gui so you will get the all the information here if you go to the one more server here so suppose the example sm04 in that here you can, you can also see the how many users are logged into the system here sm04 sm80 mm02 thana the multiple people yesterday they did today yesterday and today multiple people they have opened the sessions and everything here right so they have opened the sessions here how much memory they are occupying what is the type of the session when when they have initiated the connection what application what transaction code they are using what is the client host they are logged into the servers all the information you can see it in the in this box here right in this box you can see the all the informations here right that is the one thing here if users are logging then you will get the one more session here suppose example here uh here nw1001 right so what i will do here nw1001 i will open the one more transaction then when it comes to the users list here so one more transactions will be opened here so like that multiple sessions multiple sessions will be opened here so sm04 that is the local users logged on list here al08 this is the all instances so logged on logged on users list system wide system wide logged on users list here the correct word system wide logged on users list it's not only one application server here it's for all all application servers related information you can see it in the al08 in the ddic user how many sessions you opened three plus one four sessions opened so four four backend sessions opened here right so we can also cancel that session user is not there and he's opened the session three sessions so we can also go to the sessions here so how many one is the customizing project spro something you are using here customizing mm -hmm. executing th third screen just you can also cancel once delete that session that screen will be cancelled now two sessions are there here two sessions are there which means that session is gone you can also cancel that sessions number of sessions also you can cancel it one is the main page you opened that is also cancelled then one more thing is the <coughs> debugger debugger screen open so like that we can 
we can open the sessions and all the information we can see it here so sm04 al08 sm04 only for the one application server only same as like sm50 i want system wide you have the 10 application server i want all the application servers how many users are logged in i want that list then we can go to the sm66 for all logged on users list here sm 66 here all the logged on users list information we can see it here right this is where we can check it out here sm04 al08 here so the next one is called the uh, <coughs> st22 above runtime errors so above runtime errors here in your above system if you find out any dumps if you go to the st22 you will see the rot of runtime errors, but zero, zero, nothing is there here. Let's go to the ECC here, go to the ST22 here. You see the dumps, runtime errors here. One dump is occurred here. Runtime errors means ours is the runtime system, real-time runtime system. So back end, there are the multiple programs, multiple codes, reports, codes will be executed. Sometimes what happens due to the syntax error, due to the cells, timeout errors, SQL error, DB error, memory errors, so shared memory errors, multiple things all will be recorded in the, in the runtime error above section forward, right? ST22 in the above runtime, all the errors will be recorded here, right? So we can go to the here, we can see the why this is occurred, the raise action is happened for the 100 client. ECP 100 clients. So why this is happened here, right? So here we can see the object duplicate is triggered. What is this program error? Program error, what is the program? What is the date and time? What is the condition? So then you see the who is the user here. And so previously we have Sarat, we have canceled the one session or we have reprocessed the one of the update, update records into the SM13, right? which got created the triggered here. So which means duplicate records, which means the, the selected update already updated in the database level, but it again, it's trying to update the same in the database level, it's unable to do it. Why? Because it's a duplicate, already it's there. So that's why duplicate record is selected here. SM13, we can see the many duplicates, right? So those things are related to this one. Here we can find out who is the user it caused the issue, then under client basis user, what is the transaction used it here? Then what can I do here? Then what happened here? How to correct the error here? Then how information on where it is corrected by seeing this one, we can come to know. So what is exactly happened in the, all those things? How to check it out? How to correct the error? Where the information occurred? Then <clears throat> all the all the things we can see it in the, in the transactions here. That is the main thing of the transactions how to correct the information on where corrected so above runtime errors here so normally if the program error syntax error uh, anything it will come developer will take error we have to inform to the developers here any memory issue sql error and cpu spike shared memory that we have to take care of that parts right we need to check why because for this error sap may be already released a node some corrections they will release it if you refer that node we may have some idea how to fix it out everything suppose example so here some people what they will do they will copy the error message here everything they will go to the google just they will check it out so what exactly happened here they will just check the uh, So network graphics option, Sara dumps runtime error. This is from different error here. This is occurred. So why this is occurred? There is a error message, right? So let's see the, so the SAP already released a note for this one. SAP already released a note for this one. Means the SAP knows this type of errors. SAP knows this type of errors. If you select something, something occurred, something occurred, it will create the dump. So if you see in your SAP system, this kind of dumps, so there we have to fix it out. We have to check the resolution column. Then we need to fix it out by, so what happened in the system and all the information, we can check it out here. We can check it out all the, all the things we can check it out here, right? We can see there is a note number from SAP. This is a network graphic option from the SARA. 
so it is giving the duplicate error it's trying to do it's getting error so if you open this node you will get the clear instructions how to fix it out here how to fix it out that issue so what they are doing they are trying to open some network graphic in the system so this this it is throwing the error message here it is throwing the error message here suppose like So see, one more error is occurred. So means this tab is not working here. Basically, in the Sara, this tab, Sara transaction code, this tab is not working. So SAP already delivered a note here. See, two dumps again, two. Two dumps got occurred today. So which means there is a SAP bug, runtime code error. So we have to apply the, some corrections and everything. So this type of things, we have to correct it. We have to open the note and we have to see and we have to correct that one here we have to correct it here that is the the main thing we have to we have to do that one okay that is the st22 runtime errors then sm21 is for the system logs so this is the one of the troubleshooting log here by seeing the sm21 we can find out how the our system by seeing these two transaction codes we can simply say how the our system is behaving is in the healthy condition or is there any critical errors here in the system so if you go to the SM21, you can just check the locks here. So you can come to know what exactly in the error. So information, operating system call error, and you will come to know all the information and everything here. You come to know all the information and everything you will come to know here, right? So that is the that is the main thing here, right? So, so here time zone is showed. We have the operating system call error and we have the different, different error messages we have here, right? This is the one of the thing here exceptions raised so basis exception raised dumps dumps occurred and time zone issues we have here system time zone system time zone not found in the there is a transaction code not valid time zone this is a basis issue so we have to set the system time zone using the this stz ac transaction code that is what it is happening in the systems like that so we can find out the sm21 we can find out the logs so we pre earlier you have deleted some logs so that is also updates also you have tried to deactivate it right with the, with the user so update deactivated update terminated so you see all the information you see here all the details are clearly written here which means we cannot escape from here anyway why because here the evidences are clear it will put in 10 20 54 854 so with the triple zero one dialogue you deleted something so you need to explain the reason why you deleted the lock entries based upon the approval. Then where is the approval email? So like that. So updates also you deleted. Why you deleted based upon the approval? So who deleted? This is the person deleted, right? You have the clear evidences are there here. So system log, all the evidences will be recorded here. We cannot escape from anywhere, sir. I am only doing no one seeing my screen means it's not like that. It will be auto recorded in the screen systems. So. Yeah, we as a basis team, we will get the access to the all these transaction codes, troubleshooting transaction codes. We can go to the SM21, SM22. We can find out what is causing the issue, who is doing what. All the information, we can check it out. Right? So that is what we can check in the systems. Okay? So this is the one of the system log messages here. Right? So what you can do for today, you can practice this... Uh, this transaction codes and also I will also explain small small things you know before we going for the background that is very important DVE completed B B for background so you will get some time to practice it after the long time today you guys all will log in and practice it right that's why so just to practice all the transaction codes suppose in the system if you want to execute any reports or programs the developers will use the transaction codes SA38 or SE38 for programs and the reports execution programs and reports execution here SA38 or SE38 here if you go to SA38 we can put the program name here we can we can execute it what happening in the system and everything we can see it here right if we go to the SE38 we can execute the programs. We can see the what is the source code written in the programs. All the what is the code it is written in the program. We can see the, all the information. 
right so sa38 direct execution sa38 we can also just create the new program source code variants elements all those things we can do it here so sa38 is only for the execute option you will get this is the execute button this is the execute button execute means the output will be displayed here so yes e38 is only is for so you can also create the new program you can also execute it and you can also activate it you can also delete it whatever you want you can delete it normally basically this sa38 or se38 will be execute will be done by the your developers why because they are the responsible for write the programs and everything so they will take care of all those things so tomorrow if someone ask you how the developers will write the programs codes reports and everything means either sa38 or se38 or the transaction codes they will execute it like that you need to answer okay so that is for the today you need to practice all the transaction codes please check who don't have the access please inform me i will create the access okay because you need to practice a lot of things from today onwards right so today onwards you need to practice a lot of things so you need to log into the gem server i logged in then you need to open the sap login screens there you have the systems you can log in either ec d or ec if this one any system you can log in or more the systems you can open it you can practice it uh that is the very important what other things you are seeing what are the status displaying here so you can reproduce the all the scenarios here okay that is the main important thing for today onwards so don't uh don't please practice it every day every day day to day, day, day transaction then only you can come to know all the information here okay okay so that's it for today so please practice it so if any doubts or any questions let me know okay